G'day mate and welcome back to more stream footage. So, this is the one where you really see the rocket base start to take off. Um, I spent a lot of time last episode trying to get modules, trying to get the bots to put modules back in. And I did so even more this episode. Um, and the, the key to watch for is, each time you launch a rocket without a satellite, you get a little text pop up that says, you launched a rocket without a satellite. Watch that, watch that increase. Uh, over the episode, it, it, it gets it gets very common. We're, we're not at the one rocket per minute that we're aiming for, which is what this rocket base is built for, but we're starting to get very, very close. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys here. I am going to apologize in advance for the jumps and the lag. It's, it's, it's definitely worse. It's worse as the video continues on. And yeah, I'm not sure what caused it. Um, I know it's my PC, not the server. The server, actually, we found out at the end of it, we didn't even get 25% of the total resources of the server used. So, and we pushed this a lot further than what you guys are watching now. But anyway, I'll leave you with it. I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. All right, back to staring at my feet, because they're awesome. You love your feet, don't you? Oh, man. I'm getting so sick of it. Oh, server saved. I'm good to go again. Ah. Alright, then mark for deconstruction. Oh, I someone feel like sending another copper train. Oof, that oh my gosh. Okay. That is one hell of a pipeline right there. Hell of a lot, but what? The pipes for the silo. Oh my god. Um, it goes from underneath the rocket base up to the starter base. What? What's this? Yes. Underneath the rocket base up to the starter base. For what? Oil. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, I'll reroute it to the rocket base. Oh, that one! Oh, yeah, okay. That was a early, early one. Like, there's one way north of the starter base. That, again, it's piped all the way down into the starter base. It was it was only temporary. I, I do believe that was that was the claiming remark at the time. Along with we need oil. <laughs> and we hadn't got to trains yet. So copper smelting in the rocket is officially very broken. Fun. because I can't blueprint down blueprints that include modules. I need to rip up the existing entities to blueprint them straight back down with modules. Because game. But that's alright. Mojo's gonna DM seeding and say, feature request please. Because I noticed it's still missing in 17, right? This is when you meant to Allegedly. You meant to say yes. It's right at the top of my list. Because it's we all agree it's an important feature. So that means we can blame Mojo instead of the devs if it's not in. Yeah. No, you still have to blame um, the devs for everything. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. All you need to do is you need to confirm with the devs did they get an official request from Mojo. If they didn't, then we can play Mojo. Um, I'm actually curious just play Mojo because anyway, even if it is or isn't in there. Has Blue even started streaming yet? They were streaming late last night. Yeah, there was a stream last night. Because after I got off, like rather than going to bed at 5 a.m. like I should have. I went and uh, I went and went and watched a 
a little bit of the end of the stream. How do you even manage to go for so little sleep? Uh, insomnia. Insomnia works well. Makes sense. Yeah, but I have that, but I'm just always tired. Ah, so you've probably got the rare condition of insomnia with sleep apnea. Which I have, which means little sleep and... and um, the four hours is fine. I went to bed at... I got off streaming at like four something. Maybe five. I was up for another half hour and then I slept till ten. So let's call it five till ten. Yeah. Five hours. That's enough. That's that's ample sleep, right? Yeah. Sure. Hey. No, during the Clustoria event, that, that was probably my limit, where I was doing an eight hour stream every day. Um a four hour in the morning and then a four hour at night, so I was getting Three to four hours worth of sleep every night. That sort of hurt. Back to jumps, back to jumps, back to jumps. Do you have a day job? No. Ah, oh, okay, it makes more sense. Mm. Man, this is 60 FPS looks so good, but my internet can't keep up. Feels bad. I switched to audio only. Hmm. Um, oh, hey, it's made of tin. Yeah, it is made of tin. Um, I really, I, I didn't know I streamed at sixty. That could be an issue. I hope you're using NVEC. I am using NVEC. I'm using Streamlabs OBS. Oh, there is, is that issue too. Yeah, well, it means I don't have to wear, run a web browser at all to see Twitch chat. So, technically, in some circumstances, it's more efficient. Because I don't have to have all my Chrome windows open. Whatever you do, don't open Chrome. Yeah, Just I'm not. Wider, like... I, I closed Chrome a while ago. What's with all these stupid pumps? Uh, to make sure the fluid goes in one direction. It seems right. a little bit excessive. Stream, Twitch, Sydney, output, audio bitrate, video. Ah, it does say 60, UP, uh, 60 FPS. We should change that for the next stream. How many rockets per minute now? We're not at one, but we're getting closer. It is getting faster. It's not getting faster at the moment because I just ripped up a heap of the smelting, so there's no smelters currently, but we're getting there. Uh nice. I hope you're joking because the game only gets up to 10 FPS. No, um, my game gets up to 10 FPS currently, but no, I'm not joking. Streamlabs is set to 60 FPS. Uh, lower quality either. There should be a reason. This should be transcoding now that I've reached the grand status of affiliate. Um, there should be an option to transcode it down. I no hope. transcoding for you. Really? Nope. Because Twitch hates me, or is it something I haven't done? Both? Yes. Probably. Probably not enough viewers to, for it to trigger. I am finally getting this damn stacker built after being so late and building the first stacker the wrong way. I Good finally, time. finally managed to find the space to do this. Think of oh, all yeah. those modules we could have been making. No, everything's been fully cranking out, other than when all these other trains got stubbed up at uh one of these at the freaking Copper Six there, which are still backing up somehow. Right, I'd so like I to know why. That. I want to remove that. Remove that. Click OK. And come on, game. Let me zoom to the right spot. Paste. 
Come on, where's oil nine? Christ. What has happened? Christ. All this Christ. bullshit again. Christ. Uh, I stole bullshit. Paste, paste, paste. Come on, game. I want to swap from a blueprint to a deconstruction planner. Oil nine is southwest corner. Okay. Crisis got. Crisis found a train. Um. There's only 720p. No transcoding. Uh, support is spotty. Some of the streamers get transcoding. Support spotty as well. I'm um, in theory. I should be able to lower the bit rate. Yes, yeah, you can lower the bit rate live. No, you can't. Regular OBS, you can. Regular yeah, OBS, you can. Oh, I, I can lower the bit rate by physically pressing the down button, and it will go down one bit rate. So don't even let let a push yeah press and hold button to scroll down faster. Gotta run, guys. I'll catch you later. Uh, I I'd lower the bit rate, but I'm not gonna lower from six thousand to five thousand by clicking the down arrow a thousand times. Sorry. Make a click macro. Make a click a game out of it. Yeah, there's reasons why I don't. It's like an auto clicker. Games. There is an auto clicker. I actually have one on my computer, but I'm still not going to sit there and wait for it to click a thousand times. I mean, it depends how fast your auto clicker is. Okay, so if I remove that and then I paste that there. Okay, why can't you build? Is anyone got landfill on them? Nope, no. that's something that I'm needing as well. I'm nowhere close to the base. There's actually a landfill train at the base. I'm in the base. I was more asking because uh, lag, whether somebody means... could literally put down a tiny bit of landfill. Because invisible water has screwed the rocket build. Oh, it's not really oh, that invisible. The worst. With the one smelter that's missing. Not really that invisible. Yeah, it's pretty it? invisible. It's not blue, it's not visible. <laughs> Where's the invisible water? It's right there. And there's actually two of them. How do you, three how do you of them tell? Plus. So, you, the shadow. top left corner, where stuff doesn't place, there's invisible landfill. Uh, there's invisible water. Which I can stand in the middle. Seems to be quite visible. Without an issue, but as soon as I run over there, I'm gonna have jumps. Why is that filter inserters? Uh, cause it's required as part of the build. I don't know. You you don't question sometimes. You just nod and accept. Sure. Well, there's water all around it. Yeah, the top quarter was water. One bit rare time. Got to automate it. Solar field looks good. Um, solar field. The solar field, as far as I'm concerned, is going to save UPS by killing off nuclear eventually. Oh, I see it now. The little holes in the ground. Yeah. Yeah, two little divots. Uh, can you put invisible landfill over invisible water? Um, you can with the landfill mod that, that lets robots carry landfill, which I love. I wish you could blueprint landfill. Well, that's exactly what you got to do. Yeah, I'm going to help you. I'm gonna get landfill. And you just blueprint it down and then the robots fly over and just deal with it. Which yeah. means your solar fields it just become two blueprints. Or right, three. One to deconstruct any cliffs, a second one to blue te blueprint down any water uh, any landfill, and a third one for your solar. What? That's how my solar farm works it now. Be there by seven thirty. Okay. So I think that's now complete. No, I didn't do modules in... I didn't do modules in... Refineries. Ah, a stacker that actually stacks. Now that, sir, is something. Finally! It's not actually stacking yet, that's the sad part. One job. 
Yeah, I know. How long have I been going at this? Two hours, maybe? I built the first stacker wrong. It would have been completely fine, but it ended up not being big enough. And then the space that I had wasn't big enough to make it bigger. So I tried to build a second. Ah, it was bad. One drop. I like um, how quickly my saying has caught on. One job, one job. Saying? One job. I say it a few times, now everyone says it. One yeah, I've, one I've copped it a quite, quite a few times in life. Ojo had one job, and he succeeded. Exactly. How do you know he succeeded? Because everyone says one job. <laughs> Alright, that was his one job. And fair one enough. Loop. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. I called the water spot puddles, and I heard... It. Uh, who was it? This called it a puddle. I don't know. Where the... But as long as it doesn't feature undergroundies, I'm yeah. fine. Uh, underground undergroundies. Yeah. yeah. What's an undergroundie? Uh Neil Als has started calling underground belts undergroundies, <sighs> really? and it started catching on. I even saw it on Reddit. I'm like, nope, I quit. Quit never. You quit. Why? Because it's just... No. It's an underground. You're actually making the word longer. In Australia, in Australia, we, we, we shorten every word, people's names, everything yes. as much as possible. You, you never make like a word shorter, longer. shorter, never longer. Yeah. Except okay, Davo. Does anyone have any landfill that they mind coming over here with? Oh well, Davo, I don't get. Davo goes from D-A-V-E to D-A-V-O. Which is the exact same length. There's a couple of names like that. How would you change my name? Someone, I need to. This is such a mess. Someone sent like five copper ore trains to the copper station, which is not hooked up to the stacker. Because you said you had it working. I did have it working until I had to. I'm going to just actually fix everything. and. So, so like, you have a whole lot of straight line. I don't screw it. Like, you've got a whole lot of straight line there. Just do three end-to-end -end stackers on the way in and have a separate dedicated line for the way out. Yeah, I know. I know. That's exactly what I'm doing. It's just this problem at the bottom here. I've been trying to fix it, but I keep... Go get landfill. Yep. I know. P.I. Who is this guy here? P.I. something? Can't read this guy. Name. Do you mind uh, grabbing landfill? Mm, the solar, not landfill mode. What? what? Run because the packs is all blocked. Yeah, there is no packs. That's the thing. Just take this train. It's easier to say Davo than Dave. It is. It is. But there is half a dozen. There's half a dozen <laughs> short <laughs> names in Australia that get lengthened when they get Australianized. It's probably the best way of putting it. Australianized. What? I can't believe this has happened. I can't either. We left you in charge, and what you're telling us is you broke it. I can't believe you done this. Okay, so I've all I can't believe it's go. not butter. I can. It really is butter. That was the best piece of piece of marketing ever. They sold you butter, and they told you it wasn't butter, and people bought it because it wasn't butter. But it is butter. <laughs> Underground D's. Uh huh. Yeah. No. Yep. No. <laughs> Here we go. Now I think I can finally work on this. So now I'm gonna get this fixed once and for all. I hope so. It's been long enough. Yeah, I know. Uh, Someone decided to tag right. a PAX line on. It's actually been fixed the whole time. The problem was, is I was trying to build the stacker. I didn't manage my priorities, essentially. And that just fucked me from the beginning. Who needs 
needs landfill, where and how much? I need down here probably. So, fill your inventory, run over there, dump it all into his inventory. If it won't fit in his inventory, just dump it on the floor around him. Yourself. All right, let me empty my inventory so I can do that. What are you doing, Mojo? Cutting back on solar. Why? Because uh, all construction orders sitting on the map cost UPS. Yes. Oh. Okay. And like, I got no issue. Like, I got no issue just removing the ghosts, which is looks like what's happened. Yes. I'm c consolidating it down into um, one consistent grid that actually works instead of. Um, three big unghosted but unbuilt solar plants. Uh huh. And then the only other step would be make the network a bridge. Okay. Storage goes out. Out. Solar panels go in. Done. Oil oil extension is the plan. Okay. Well, there's no point expanding this solar because it's too close to the base. Better off expanding the one that's way out. Or even starting a new one up where oil six is. Yeah, starting a... Yeah, that would be great to just... Have it there. But what about down below? Like, where there's practically nothing? Do to the map is oh there was one in there, kinda. Just make make that the solar field because there's nothing Good. there. It's just a so we can rip up all this solar. Uh, don't rip it's already up. down. If it's, if it's down, already down, we'll there's it. no point moving it. Yeah, there's no time anyway. Useless research. All right. Why are you doing follower account again? I just need to finish it. it. Just finish it. Sure. After that one. Oh, we just did a worker robot speed, though. I know! Yeah, Look at all the UPS we've it. saved! You can run around again, can you? Oh, I, I, running around's been intermittent the whole time. I have always been able to run around. But you know what? I think... Have we finally... No, it's still asking for 3,000 speed modules. Yeah, somehow it has increased its its asking price. No, no, it yeah. only scans, oh, what is it, you. 600 entities? And if 600 entities require four speed modules, or four speed modules or four prob mods, that's the number that comes up. Do you know why it's saying there's more? It's because there is an 11 billion solar panels and accumulators clogging the request. Yeah. Not 11 billion. That's an exaggeration. Just a tiny one. You okay. get the point. 33 billion. <laughs> okay. All right. We need more iron. Okay. So iron. No, that's copper. Iron main base. We haven't even made a billion solar panels. You train. Only made... Go to. We only made 41. Rocket. Iron ore inventory empty. Go. How much room is on that stacker? Is that stacker in robot network? That's a better question. One crap. All right, cool. Thanks, Pi. This guy. Hey Mojo. So for a stacker, it it's it's a normal signal at the, the end entrance. Of the yeah, at the end of the behind the train. Yes. Yeah. And then chain signal Bef when, going out. Yeah, but the, the train's got to wait in front of. Okay. All right, game. Give me that. Give me a deconstruction planner. Get rid of that because it's wrong. And that because it's wrong. And those don't have signals at all. So they are the worst type of stacker. 
the non-working type. We can fit one extra train there. I like how fish are an intermediate. Of course they are. I'll be right back. They're an intermittent item. You need to launch rockets and get an achievement. Um, has Colonel Will abandoned the, 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 the cause? He seemed to be streaming something else earlier today. Uh, and so to Pop John, are we winning yet? We, we were winning from like 12 hours in. Eight hours in. Eight hours and 25 minutes, I think, was our first rocket. At that point, we'd won. There's a rocket yeah, it was very slow getting a rocket going. There's a what, what? Rocket here ready to launch. Should I launch it? It should auto-launch. Uh, yeah, it should auto-launch, though. So, there's no cargo. So, there's two belts set up that should have splitters on them to take green circuits up to beside the silo to launch green circuits. Okay, so it's not receiving either green circuits or it even doesn't even have the splitters. What happened to the burner inserters? We were launching burner inserters. Oh, oh yeah, in the other chest. Just grab half a stack of the burner inserters. As long as it's launching something. Um, and Colonel Will... Colonel I, think Will I think there's something to be a splitter in here. Swapped his streaming schedule to do the start hours rather than the end hours. And he said at the time he'd only be on for the start of the event, not the end. So I sort of thought he'd come back and have a look-see. Um, he might come and look at the very end. Yeah, maybe that's what, first thing in the morning for him? Yeah. Before work. So yeah, he, he might, you know, rush it in before work. I don't know. I, I haven't had a chance to talk to him because during the few hours he was up, I was actually sleeping. It was us. Start was most important for winning anyway. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. I need to go so, back and look at my feet. These pumps off the train is very inefficient. What? Pumping off the train is pretty inefficient because you unevenly pump out the liquids. Yeah. The first See, what I should do is go and look at my acid build because that one actually works instead of trying to copy it from memory. The middle two fill up first. So this is why I've got multiple versions of Factorio and, and just boot the other version grab the blueprint. Yeah, it requires me to alt-tab. You don't have multi-screens? Yeah. Why don't you just alt-tab? I'm building solar. No, you're tearing down solar. That's building. No. In reverse. I'm putting... Oh, hello. Who did what? Someone gave what? me 10 artillery wagons. Cool. Cool, throw oh, them back in the network. Me. I'm working on You're mods. You are already winning. You don't mean to come back right now, right? Uh, look, Lord, it's up to you. You're welcome to come back if you want. If you don't want to, that's, again, entirely up to you. Like, we'll always take extra help. I'm not going to say no. As a Sunday, what else to do on 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 a Sunday at Factorio, and a Monday, and a Tuesday, and a Wednesday? Yeah, what? Have naps. Ah, oh, I'd love naps, but yeah. But you got a Factorio. Exactly. Uh, I got a Factorio, and and naps require sleeping, and sleeping I'm not good at, so naps don't happen. We've discussed this. Yeah. Come on, jump number, go down. 180? Ah, uh, 120. And going down slowly. That'd be pretty good. Maybe it wasn't my dead body I looted. <laughs> oh no, you had no. the moment the arm. You looted another person's dead body. How <laughs> could you? <laughs> No, it's mine. I'm just wondering where I got all this stuff. Someone just, someone's used me as a trash, I think. 
<laughs> no, I think you got all of deconstructed actually. You can do I that. I just hate using the use. Well, if someone stands next to something that's being auto deconstructed, he gets put in the inventory. Yeah, Switch like if you ever action. see Exterm standing around doing nothing, like eating for the fifth hour, um, especially like belt him to a forest and then just deconstruct the forest and just slowly <laughs> belt him through the forest. Nice. That's mean. I would totally do that. Wee. Nearly found another train. I think we've already done it. Someone's been having fun with Spinny, but. Uh, last thing he was riding belts. I think he's he's actually spent more time riding belts this map than anything else. Oh yeah. Ooh. I found two oh, stone ass. smelters in the the iron and there haven't been guts of steel. How'd that last this long? Alright, JD. This place I can officially call done in terms of the belting or trains, whatever. Don't it's belty training thingy. Don't, don't even know what it's called at this point. I've been grinding it for so long. <laughs> I've been grinding at it for so long. <laughs> no comment. The funny thing <laughs> is, like, it, it was a 10 minute job. It should have taken 10 minutes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> I don't think she's ever said it should have taken 10 minutes and been happy with the results. <laughs> Oh. Alright, do not run me over trains. Quick run and along. he gets run over. Be one with the train. Oh. Exactly. What was that noise? Yes, do as exterminator would do. That was me stretching. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> the funny thing is, train I'm running towards train track to build train track. Yet it's not moving. I am so on the edge. I'm doing 59.3 UPS. 0. 0. 0.4, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7, 60.2. Cheetah. Going over 60. I'm now doing Max. 61. I wonder all the FPS is bad. You're hogging it all. Oh no, the FPS is five. <laughs> My mistake. Um, how are you a gamer and a YouTuber with a potato, such a bad potato? Um. Because I decided to start YouTubing for the fun and the kicks. And then didn't actually think anybody would bother watching. And here I am a year and a bit later. And um, yeah, it, it's well past due for the upgrade. Yeah, it is. So what do we need more of? Copper or iron at the moment? Um, I need the rocket base to never run out of iron. Alright, well, there's this beautiful 6.4 million. Good plan. Perfect. Jeez. <laughs> yep, that's the phone, because the phone loves me. And. Uh, what? Well, that just raises more questions. What? The phone or the ringtone? The ringtone. What questions does it raise? I'm curious now. Is it a custom ringtone um, specific to a person calling? No, no, no. That, that's the default ringtone for, to, for anybody calling. Wait. Okay. Did you set it or was it just default? No, no. I set it. Okay. Because that'd be an odd default. I oh, that's don't not a default. know the name of the band or so. Tickleback? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I hope that's ironic, mate. I really do. Uh, look, Nickelback. Nickelback. It, 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 it's one of two things: okay. either the, either they're loved or they're hated. There is no middle ground with that band. True facts. Yeah, well, that's why I'm hoping it's ironic. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, 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 really, at the end of the day, they're either loved or hated by by 
like at such extremes that my answer's either going to offend 50% of people or or not. So I- I'm just going to leave it. No, no. It's one of those things where it's cool to be fans. seen to be hating it. It is. It is. I once said and something so... almost negative about Ken Yu on a Ken Yu forum. Oh, I've wow. Felt so ripped apart in my life. <laughs> <laughs> You've never felt so ripped apart? Oh, yeah. Hey, if, whoever's making outposts, if you could send uh, uh, a train at some point by what, to the modules of either iron or copper, that'd be great. Um, go to the main base stacker, find a train that's in the, in being unloaded right now, reschedule it to go to you, and leave main okay. base one short. Because it has a big stacker. Okay. There's like four trains in the shed. We got a shed. Uh, we have a pack train. Oh, uh, yeah, we four do. trains. <laughs> yeah, Holy just shit. prep from the main base decker. We're refilling this. It's just northeast of Ducky. Hey, hey! I got on and found there was a Ducky suddenly that wasn't there when I went to bed. Yeah, the important things got done. We need more <laughs> iron trains delivered to the uh, module. Module. Okay, I got it. Like I said, go steal a train. I'm stealing right. trains right now. I'm off the line for a bit. Later, guys. All right, man. Later. See you. Okay. Go away, modules. Go into the build. Make it go faster. Because <laughs> when this thing's fully built, it's going to eat one of these trains every minute. Uh-oh. Oh. Seller, I'm up to T. Oh, no, no. I'm back. Seems to be constant for everyone that does. Yeah, that yeah. happened. I yeah. think it's the server. <laughs> Next time they come on, I should ask about that. Well, originally it was put down as being the screenshot mod. Because it was fairly consistent, but it was also early game when lots of people are downloading and getting in, so... I don't actually think it was a screenshot mod, though. Yeah. I'm not convinced. I mean, I'll blame it because it's the cool thing to do, but <laughs> the cool cat. Okay, so what's holding mind. up modules? Uh, rockets, just pure product production. Looks like steel um, needs boosting on the rocket base. Okay, so I'll stand in this corner. And as soon as I've got my inventory up, I'll request all the speed modules and all the prod mods. And that way they'll... Yeah, you're not getting any of those. No, 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 no. If if you request 20,000, they should... Majority of them come to me. And then my bots will put them in the build, so I'm standing beside. See, Kyle is standing over the chest where the train comes in. So you're not getting any. And it's it's not a passive provider chest. It's a steel chest. So I put them into the builds that need them. Why have you not automated it? I have. I just unautomated it because the automation sucks. Okay. How are the modules doing at Rocket Base? Slowly but surely coming in. There's not enough okay. of them. Yes. I mean, I've got everything going as quick as it'll go. I'm keeping this bad boy fully fed, so. So you said steel needs. Boosting. Steel needs the most. Most uh, yeah speed. Uh, speed but in some structures, it's falling behind. Uh, prods only in my inventory right now. Uh, Lord, I'm debating. Man, you're welcome back. You, you're welcome back. Um, well, we've still got another what twenty. Five and a half hours to go. Something like that. Yeah. What have you been debating, Mojo? Um, removing the nuclear from spawn. Uh, if your build's more efficient and in theory... Actually, are we still... Rec- so, if you go to the Make Everything, is it backed up in beacons? Uh, yes. So, 
apart from actual speeds and actual prods going into machines, right, which will increase our power further, we're pretty stable as far as power is concerned because modules don't come that fast. So yeah, that I, and there's um, three gigawatts plus the starter base worth of nuclear available. Yeah, so I'd rip up the original one. Alrighty. More UPS somewhere. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna snag five up UPSs. Up. I'm at sixty-three, so I've got three UPSs. Hey, uh, whoever asked what ore they should um outpost, uh, they should be doing copper. They should be doing whatever's closest to the main line, rinse and repeat. No, whatever's closest to where you're standing right now, rinse and repeat. Also, what's required? No, no, just do everything. Every single one. You don't even have to add trains. Just build them. Yay, I've got a whole lot of commoners in my inventory. Thanks, somebody. You're welcome. I just love the lag I get, because I place on landfall. It doesn't play it, so I skip over. Like the single gap it has. Yeah, this is why I run on real land whilst placing landfill to my left. I'm on my right. Currently, I'm doing I'm doing the perimeter fence for trains. Okay. Come on, game, catch up faster. Was that a growl? No. Uh, so we're doing 20 speeds and 11 prods per minute. And if I stand about here, any modules made should come to me. That's iron. Are we backed up in iron to steel? No. Those text messages are definitely getting more common. Yeah, text messages? Was... Yeah, you launch a rocket, but there's no satellite inside. All right. I mean, I'm glad it notifies us, but not in this situation. I mean, it should notify you beforehand. It should be like, hey, you're about to launch a satellite with no, or you're about to launch a rocket with no satellite inside. How would it do that? Do you want to be wa launching satellites or not? Well, I mean, in the, a normal situation, yes. Uh, in this oh, situation, does the, does no. Does the score not count? No, score, score counts count. on rockets launched. Has nothing to do okay. with satellites. Ah, okay. Fair it enough. Just makes you feel good to launch satellites as well. No, it doesn't. It doesn't make me feel any better. It makes me feel better. Same. You trying to launch a satellite, a little animated paperclip pops up. Hey, it looks like you're trying to launch a satellite. <laughs> it feels oh no. Not doing that. Uh, so those inserters are missing. That would probably help things. Like the Nickelback thing, that's another one that people like to talk about but don't actually have any proper opinion on. Satellites and rockets? The little paperclip that pops up. Uh, look, let's let's be honest. The paperclip was a great idea. It just got far too annoying far too quickly. It was but, too oh, eager to do its job. What paperclip? There's one tick box to set. How to do you turn not know about the paperclip? I. Are you five years I old? I don't know what you're talking about. The paperclip. The paperclip. Context. Or the bouncing ball. Or the dog. Uh, could Microsoft it. Word. Word. Or in the case of my computer, the head of Sarge from Red vs. Blue. Is it, <laughs> are you talking about the link? No. No, no, no. The paperclip in Microsoft Word. You've got to be Isn't really it? young. You've got to be... Grow, you've got to have, have never used, like, anything between... Before Office... 2007? Two, Office 95 to 2003 had it. Yeah, so the um, one after that's 27, uh, 2007, right? 
Well, then yeah. what's the paperclip? Yeah. Educate me. It's the office it's assistant, annoying. which <laughs> is an interactive help and tutorial thing. So you know when you go and, to a web page and it pops up as oh, yeah. like as soon as you're on the web page, it pops up as like, "Hey, chat's here to help. Would you like any help purchasing anything?" Oh yeah, I hate that. Yeah, imagine that whilst you're trying to type a document every single time you open Word to type a document. Oh, that's that's lame. Yeah. Even though there is a one-time option to turn it off, you just say Office Assistant off. Yeah. And it never pops up again. Well, the trouble is people are retarded retards and don't understand how to do that. Um, and when the thing first pops up, it even gives you a thing to turn it off. No, Again, it, retarded, didn't, it didn't do that in 95. Oh, yeah, 90, no, 95 was really hard to turn off. 97, it got the option when it first popped up. But a lot of people were new to computing, so I had no idea. Do I really want to turn this thing off or not? I don't know. I'm just going to say no now. And then they the just smash the button to make it go away. Yeah, just just hit the X button. You know, come back later. And then that option, do you want me to piss off forever, didn't ever come back up. Um, but I'm sure there's a setting that you can turn it off. Defaults are, are important for a reason. Yeah, there is a setting, but it, it's, it's, it's with all good settings buried somewhere. Buried, yeah. bury it so that way the people who don't who shouldn't have it turned off can't turn it off the people i might be forgetting exactly everything with 95 but i don't remember 95 having much of a difference between that and 97 uh 97 was just a little bit more polished is probably the best way of putting it yeah i'd agree with that uh, see the only paper clip i know is like the link paper clip like to link no, the website no but that's a paperclip. Yeah, that is a paperclip. You know, this, but this you know is the paperclip. It's a big difference. Uh, Let be the paperclip. The paperclip doesn't exist anymore, though. Uh, I don't know. I, I refuse to install 365. I'm still using 2010. Um. Oh crap! Yeah, I don't. I, I don't even know if I have Office installed. Oh, I win! I have 2007 installed. Oh wow! Twenty times where it's at. That was See, no, I win. I don't even have Microsoft Office. I've got You're one of those weirdos here. that uses um, Google, yeah, Libra Office, aren't you? You're that guy. Oh wow! Not your basic open office. Hey Kyle, less modules in oil, more modules in iron to steel, please. Okay. Well, oil is now finished, so. I don't care if oil's finished. It's not the bottleneck. Okay. Yeah, you need, you need a module for bottleneck first, and then you can do other stuff. And, like, my answer is just, just, just put down a passive provider, stand here right in the middle of steel, set yourself to request 20,000 of each, and you could be the robot Get none. Oh, you'll get none until they pop up in the network, and then because you're requesting 20,000 of each, you are the highest request. They go to you first. They do go to me first. As they long as you're been actually going. standing in the network. They have been going to me. Which, of course, I'm three squares outside the network. <laughs> That's why they haven't been going to you. Correct. I've been getting all the modules. So, okay, you're standing in that one. I'll stand in the top one. No, no, no. Push me up three tiles. Push you up? Yeah. <laughs> Anything. I, I, I can't walk through tiles. Really? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm right on the border. I have been for, for the whole time. Uh, I don't think there's a way to do that. No, there isn't. I wish you could push players. Another server not responding. Oh, oh yeah. I caught up. Get the line of that. Oh, Go. Right yeah. That's the second one in the last two minutes. It's barely yeah, in Yeah, that's pretty bad to win it, man. Minute to win it. Oh, bots are taking stuff out of my inventory. I'm definitely inside the network. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's with this small power pole? I don't like it. We shouldn't have any 
at all. Maybe that's why it, it doesn't work. But where is it coming from? Check to make sure it's actually not there for a reason. The amount of times going through the cluster area servers where things were intentionally built with small power poles because they didn't have the extra range of a medium power pole. And somebody's like, oh, look, there's a small power pole. I'll upgrade it for you because it'll make it go better. And they joined two power networks and suddenly shit would hit the fan. You're not supposed to have more than one power network anyway. Uh, it's when we got power in and off the server at the same time. So you do hey. pull power in if the accumulator's got okay. too low, put power out if the accumulator's got too high, and you suddenly made a loop where you're pulling power in from the cloud and putting it out to the cloud at the same time because they're now all part of the same power network. So the official word is multiple loops. power networks are very UPS intensive. Loops are bad. Looping power is worse. Probably. Alright, the server's gonna crash any minute now. How do you know? Oh, because I'm just hoping. Oh, you want it to crash? Yeah, the jumps are going up again. Oh, I got some modules! Yeah, I did too. Are you requesting 20,000 of each? Yep. So we're both being split. In theory. So you get half of Basically, whoever is closer to the bot will get Okay, it. well, the front train is nearly... It's quite close to making a right a right turn at the bottom of the southwest. And I'll continue that when I get home tonight. And I'm heading out now. Oh, okay. This is mainline, is it? Yeah. Oh, not quite mainline. It's for perimeter fence. Okay. So I've been this uh, since in for the past two hours or something. Okay, we but is there two. artillery on the perimeter fence? Does it fire shells? Do the biters go away? Not currently, but it's still on base playing up. Oh, just just have it loop whenever it's got artillery. I never, it's still only got two machines making artillery shells for it. Why is there an iron ore patch that is tapped but not connected to the network? Because you haven't done it because you've been standing in the base doing nothing. Uh, no, I've been... No, I've Doing been the wrong excited. research, let's be honest. No, I've <laughs> just been moduling the thing that wasn't the bottleneck. Actually, guys. Same, mate. Wait, where's this outpost? Up at the top. Or not to the top. Someone... It's right below you. Yes, the actual someone, someone. Someone in Australia, right? Yeah. Guess it would just be someone in Australia. Is it an oil outpost or an iron outpost? It's an iron outpost. And it has 9.1 million, and we need to eat it. Alright, I'm gonna try and find... So we're not responding. responding. There we go. It's gonna crash. Run! Run, JD! Run! <laughs> Get out of the network as fast as possible. Wait, is that the only way you can... It's guaranteed I'll catch up. Really? Yeah, because I, mean, I keep processing, but the server's not actually processing during that server not responding. No, you're out of the Basically, network. your catch-up opportunity. Actually, out of the network. I haven't seen the server say auto-save. Um, actually... Not for a little while. I haven't... I haven't no, seen it say auto-save ever. Yeah, that's no, bad. I, can't I have it said... I've, ha I've seen it say server is saving the, the map. But I Maybe the ah, server yes. not responding is the autosave. Yeah, but it would say that it's saving. Okay. Why do people do... Why oh. do people do things? Yeah! Oh. Specifically to irritate you. Oh, they're, they're buffering. <laughs> they're buffering <laughs> They're full chests of green chips. What do you expect, Judy? Hey, hey you? someone, a hey, you. Uh, uh, I'll be up there to help you hook that to the network. Or are you good? <laughs> oh yeah, there's one of the Roomba belt buffers there too. Uh, just below the make everything. I saw that uh, yesterday. What? 
I haven't seen the old Roomba one in a while. A Roomba belt buffer. Where is this? It's very below. Um, it. It's in the in the green um bat bus. That doesn't look like a buffer. It looks like a, a holy network. I oh, know that goes into the network. They're both going in. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. If it was one going in, one going out, that would be really stupid. Yeah, it actually lowers the throughput. Okay. That one guy that was trying to help, trying to help by making a bunch of iron ore buffering, he really didn't get it. Yeah, that's people do that. What happened here. But it's like, we've got a whole build here not making green circuits because it's all backed up. And the belt, like, two tiles above it is short on green circuits. And they built these awesome chests that are right in the way. Do we have an outposting train? Yeah, it's called engineering. Yeah. Okay. Holy crap. I don't engineering. think that exists anymore. No, I found one. I okay. Found I know one is used for uh, building the border. And this might have been the outposting train. No, I found it. It's called the engineering train. It's right okay. here. It looks like it has everything I need, so I'm going to hope it does. Okay, question. Why would you make 484? And why, why, would, why wouldn't you just make 4104? Or three ten three. Because originally I was going to make eight sixteens, and then Will said I'm not doing loops, which I think is a will issue, not a. It's it's a will issue, yes. Yeah, it's not a performance issue anymore. It's it's a will issue. It never was a performance mm -hmm. issue. Um, there was a point issue? because, uh, well, the original issue was a Kavorax issue. Let's put it that way. So originally they were really, really bad at pathfinding around loops. Yeah, because a train stop would make the pathfinder overflow because the train stop was like, with a train in it was like um, the size of an integer minus one okay. because Gavorex. Okay, so loops were really bad. dual handed trains, great. Will's got it so stuck that he won't touch anything with loops. So we went from a Four eight, uh, uh, an eight sixteen. Uh, that and the patches didn't look like they'd support it when we just loaded a default settings map. Um, it turns out the guys over at GMA changed it, so we actually have a, a better resources. Otherwise, we'd be screwed. Somebody's going to have to probably put down more storage because my inventory is still filling up. I and, just got done put down another line. In terms of UPS for a mega base, you do want single headed trains for your high throughput items. Yeah, and you really want a one two to clear those intersections as fast as possible. So we were going with eight sixteens because we need that much ore basically to keep the the rocket smelter running. And also, um, don't confuse um, speeds because they have the same top speed. All trains have the same top speed, unless you but use one which can't achieve top speed. It's it's acceleration. Yeah. Acceleration, but even then, acceleration is only a fraction of the journey. It is, it is. But to clear intersections as very... fast as possible, right? Yeah, that, that is. You always want it to clear as fast as possible, but it's not a... The speed gain is not as much as people think it is. No. It's like fractions. Oh, yeah. Not fractions of a second, but it's only a few seconds at most. Yeah. Um, so originally we we're going to go really, really long, single-headed, and then they had to be shortened. So I'm like, okay, so let's still get eight wagons in the middle because we need eight wagons. And if we have to have dual heads, we'll go with four, four. Because three threes, I don't think it's going to be quite enough acceleration to clear a lot of these intersections. And two trains extra length does not make that much of a difference in overall track segment, how far intersections have to be from one another, all that sort of stuff. So how big can a train get before it's just like not worth it? Once you get past 16 wagons, it starts getting stupidly big. Yeah, I can't see a reason I'd ever go past 16 wagons. 
Oh yeah, unless Marty Mike is also around, then you do double headed. He he refuses to do single headed as, as well, does he? No, he's he's obsessive about single headed. Um, okay. Usually, if he if you, he sees you doing double headed and like when he first comes in, that's the first thing we'll just start ranting about. Okay. Won't even say hello. It's just those trains would be so much better if they didn't have the dead weight on the back. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've so never played with him, so... You get an him and Will in the server, and things just are great. You get a great interaction. He used to do that on my game every time. Not even a high, it's just... You do so much better without that dead weight. It's like, well... Um, hello to you too, then. <laughs> how, are you, how are you doing this morning? I see someone shit in your cornflakes. <laughs> Well, if you know his, the history of Belgian, um, the Belgians, then it does kind of make sense. What, cornflakes? Or single-headed trains? Um, or not saying hi? Not saying hi. Okay. And just... Some cultures. Just, just some cultures. <laughs> One job. One job. I, I probably didn't do it right. Now the Belgians. One job. Okay, so... I think you did it for more green you know, you know, it is actually one job, and they failed at it twice, you know. I wouldn't have a clue. It involves Germany. Oh. And the, and the um, French line. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, JD, you want to continue that top line? And merge it into the blue. Uh, the uh... what top line? We really got to narrow this down. Okay, the the green chips. There's three of them. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so it isn't a train take line. That, take that fourth one and merge it into that that uh, lacking no. green chips. Line. No, because that'll Why use not? four belts worth of green chips. If you merge it, it's still going to use four belts worth. You need oh yeah, the um, splitters that I put in the um, rocket base can probably go now too. There's just some random splitters splattered about. What? On the cop, on the iron and copper lines. What about? Oh, to balance the, uh, them. Yeah, you can yeah. fix that. I don't want to walk anywhere near that. I keep jumps. What about Very well. the uh, um, solid fuel? That looks like a crazy mess. Uh, is the crazy mess meant to be there? Because if it is, it went under a lot of testing to just put the right amount of crazy mess in there. Mojo? It has their name on it. Ah. Is it supposed to be there? What is? The uh, solid fuel lines. I'm going to go with yes. Uh, is that the solid fuel lines for... For... For the rocket base? Rocket fuel, yeah. Rocket base. Yeah, that's meant to be there. Because that's as a... of the blueprint was provided. That's a lane what it balancer. Means is that I... That's a lane balancer. Priority that line. Lane balance again. No, priority fill that line. Excess goes to that line, which then goes. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a priority on a priority on a priority. But the okay. issue with green circuits is somebody put this here, which is the wrong take off the main bus. And provides half a belt of green circuits, not a full belt of green circuits. And find the right blueprint. JD is useful way, blueprints. It's way easier to split a four lane than that. Huh? It's way easier to split a four lane than this. What I just put down? Uh, I mean, it, I think so. You don't, Where like, I'm standing need... right now. I mean, you don't need the extra extra belt there, do you? Yes. Really? I'm taking half off the first, uh, half off the bottom one, half off the second one, half off the third one, half off the fourth one, and merging them all together. Whereas the one I just replaced takes a half off the outside, half off the outside, resplits the two middles to the outside, or over them and the outside lane, 
and then takes the two halves it took off, which, providing you've got a full belt, works. But if you're down to a half belt or less, it doesn't work. So go back to splitters on the on the green line. If you can. No, I can't. Okay. I'm can right aboard one. Go back where? Two splitters. So the one that you're on, go back one and then two. Is that one correct? The condensed. No, one. it's not. Okay. That's what I've I've always used. That's what I used. I actually swapped half my belt base to that one because it was more it was more tidy. Yeah, it's cleaner. And then when I got further and further down the bus where things are less and less populated, I'm like, hang on. I actually have stuff getting to the end of the bus, but I'm short. And I'm getting a lot of stuff getting to the end of the bus, but I'm short. Why? So that's and only taking off half a belt? It's taking half of the top belt and half of the bottom belt from memory. I can't actually look at it. I can do map view. So... Oh. So that takes half off... It it's takes... Splitting the inner two, right? It, it takes the bottom two and takes half of those and then takes the top two and takes half of those. Don't you need the middle two now? No, top two. Oh, top two. Top two and bottom two takes half of yeah. each of those, runs them to the outside, merges them together, right? And then takes it off. And what's it supposed to do? It should take a quarter of each belt. Oh, uh, okay. And that technically doesn't work. But it'll work if you're fully saturated at the beginning. Uh, the more saturated you are, the less obvious it is. It's probably the best way of putting it. Yeah. And now, can I get the other one to fit? Probably not. Look at that um, module that just flew by you. Hmm. It's going straight to me. Probably. Yeah, it is. I don't even know what this is feeding or whether it needs a full belt's worth. It's going to red circuits. It definitely needs a full belt's worth. And I'm willing to bet then Mojo put it down. So Mojo should know better. Well, I didn't do anything. You <laughs> split off the main line. Oh no, that's Olex build. That's Olex red circuits. I didn't do anything. See? Uh -huh. So yeah, you can now see this belt going south is now a fully saturated belt. Whereas before it wasn't. Oh wow. Yeah. It's little things. JD, the cold line just moved and isn't connected anymore. It should. And right there's where I'm going to leave this episode. Um, eventually, the, the the jump's caught up and you get to see that, yes, the belt is connected. Um, and in the next episode, we're looking at optimization further. Yeah, right side of the episode. Because I'm, I'm getting really sick of the jumps. There is no reason why the game should be this laggy for me. Um, because we're, we're really not pushing the game or pushing my computer too far yet. Anyway, um, I do hope you've enjoyed. I do hope you've learned something. And I do hope that, that you can see that we are very, very much accelerating the amount of rockets we're doing. And I do hope you guys come back for the next episode. Um, that's about it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.